We recently started a new big event called Battlefield Engineer. If you want an actual in-depth explanation of its mechanics, watch the latest shooting range. Here, we'll just go over the basics. The idea is that by repairing the secret Soviet I-180S aircraft, players get a chance to add this very fighter to their collection or to get other rare vehicles. This video is about all vehicles that can be claimed during this event. The I-180S is an experimental pre-war fighter design created at the Polykarpov Design Bureau, which also serves as the starting point of the whole Battlefield Engineer event. Basically, the I-180S represented a further development of the renowned I-16 fighter. With a new engine and a more streamlined frame, it can reach the very impressive top speed of 585 kph while preserving its ability to make very tight turns. That's not all. You get more firepower as well. It's armed with pairs of both 7.62mm and 12.7mm machine guns, all situated in the front. All in all, this is a fast, agile, and in most regards, a very well-balanced vehicle. After you get your coupon, you can activate it, or sell it at the market, or exchange it for one of two interesting machines. For instance, for a submarine chaser of Project 122 BIS, which is actually very different from a standard Soviet Project 122A. For starters, this version has an 85mm gun as its main caliber, and twin d k heavy machine guns instead of single mounts. The aft machine guns were also replaced by 37mm autocannons that can be used to deal with both aerial targets and other vessels. For maximum efficiency in battle, consider alternating between your aft autocannons and the main caliber. The second vehicle that you can get for your first coupon is this incredible German SPAAG called VFW. It looks like... that. Wait, no. Actually, it looks like this. Yep, it's a transformer. We made it possible for you to raise or lower the armored boards on the sides by choosing the appropriate modification in the hangar. When they are raised, you get better crew protection. When they are lowered, you are able to shoot in 360 degrees. This tank destroyer is armed with an 88mm Flak 41 gun that has the depression elevation angles of minus 3 to plus 90 degrees. Armor-wise, well, it's a light SPAAG. Come on! On the other hand, many shells won't detonate on contact. Even more will just go straight through your thin armor. Furthermore, less armor means more speed. With a max speed of 60 kph, you're more than capable of leaving all those Panthers behind. This kind of mobility obviously dictates a certain kind of gameplay. Make one or two frags from your favorite spot, with a gun that allows a lot of flexibility, and then follow your allies to your next position. After fixing two planes in a row, you get a voucher instead of a coupon. This voucher can be exchanged for any vehicles we listed above. Or, you can get two of them to obtain even rarer vehicles. The most popular choice of the true spotlight here is the Israeli MBT called the Merkava. Turret armor is sloped in a way to maximize the survivability of the vehicle. The UFP is also mounted at an angle of around 70 degrees, plus or minus a couple. A quick glance at the X-ray view might make you think that the tank doesn't have decent protection. Look for yourself. The armor is 100 millimeters thick at most, and that's only in the mantlet and the turret ring. But don't jump to conclusions just yet. Do you see it? The Merkava has a specified spaced armor layout. If we look at it from the front, there is the outer armor first, then the fuel tank, then a sheet of RHA, after that the engine. 
followed by another RHA plate, etc. This kind of layout will easily stop any kind of a heat projectile. Won't help much against an APFSDS though. Small 50mm and 100mm thick armor plates installed in the turret, as well as 45mm plates mounted on the sides, provide crew with some additional protection. They won't stop much at close range, but the angles they are sloped at greatly increase your chances to score a bounce. The vehicle is powered by a 963 horsepower engine. The Merkava can make a very swift turn on the spot, but don't expect it to break any records. It makes around 30 kph when going cross country and up to 40 kph on a good road. And now for the most important things, guns. There are four machine guns mounted on this tank and an excellent 105mm Sharia cannon that should be familiar to all the short cowl users. You get fast turret traverse speed, like on an Abrams, great elevation angles, and with a maxed out crew, it takes only 6.7 seconds to reload your gun. When it comes to munitions, you have access to a smoke round, a hash, an APS FDS, and a heat round. You get most mileage out of the last two, while the smokes will probably never come in handy. In addition to all this arsenal, you also get 30 smoke grenades after all, enough to obliterate the whole battlefield in smoke. The next rare vehicle that you can get for two vouchers is the U-388J. Basically, it's a redesigned medium bomber that got some impressive firepower in exchange for its bombing capabilities. It really is heavily armed. The U-388J has two 20mm MG-151 cannons as well as two 30mm MK-108 cannons. That's more than enough to allow this heavy fighter to hunt down enemy bombers. But to make sure you won't have to deal with return fire from enemy defensive armaments, German engineers also gave it two additional 20mm MG-151s mounted looking up on the principle of Schräge Musik. And to help you deal with enemy fighters, there is a turret in the tail section carrying two 13mm machine guns. The last unique vehicle that you can get through this event is HMS Tiger, a World War II era light cruiser of the Royal Navy. Historically, vessels of this class were the last gun cruiser designs with high caliber guns. The last cruiser of this class was withdrawn from operational status only in 1979. This vessel packs quite a punch. Its main armaments are turrets equipped with two 152mm cannons with an amazing fire rate of 20 rounds a minute. At the same time, every one of the three auxiliary turrets holds two 76mm semi-automatic guns which are capable of spitting out up to 90 HE shells with a radio fuse every minute. They will keep the skies clear around your vessel in the radius of at least a couple of kilometers. Okay, this is it for today. The event is live right now and will continue until the 22nd of April. Good luck and feel free to tell us what vehicles have already been added to your collection. <laughs>